I've been missing out the walk with the mini. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing another full week of workouts. So starting out here by foam rolling my glutes and hamstrings because that is what we're training today. I always like to start my Mondays or my days when I'm coming back off of a break with my favorite thing, which is glutes and hamstrings because I love training these muscle groups. So I always like to save it for Monday because then it just gets me excited to get back in the gym. So here I am warming up. I like to do a slight jog, walk, or go on the Stairmaster for about five minutes, no longer than that. And then first thing, I gotta hop into the hip thrust. I wanna have my most, my most, I wanna have the most energy for this lift because I prioritized this lift for this day. So I'm doing cast hip thrust, which means I'm not coming all the way down, but about halfway. And that's just gonna keep the constant tension as well as having resistance band. That's gonna help with tension. And then I'm going straight into single leg dumbbell hip thrust and this superset this combination y'all i've been hooked i love it as you will see i do it as well on another day in this week because i love it it's just such a good combo and your glutes will be filling this so if you're getting bored with your hip thrust or if you're just like i i need something new i want to switch it up try this superset because y'all um i stand by this it feels amazing i mean it hurts but you know what i mean like you feel it working Okay, next up we have reverse lunges with a bit of an elevation or like a step up, if you will. I personally love doing reverse lunges with a step up because I think it helps me just remember to push through my heel to get myself up. Therefore, it will target more of my hamstrings rather than my quads. I am very quad dominant, like my quads will take over most of the time whenever I'm doing any form of lunges. So I found little things have kind of helped me get that mind to muscle connection and target the muscle I'm going for. And one of those things is having a step up. So if you don't like reverse lunges or you just usually don't do them with like an elevation or a step up, I encourage you to try it this way and see if it changes anything for you. You guys gotta promise me, if you don't take any other tip or trick from this video, you will just include this one exercise into your routine because when I tell you this exercise is it, it is just single leg RDLs on the Smith machine and I usually do my RDLs with regular dumbbells and I like them that way as well, but this just felt so comfortable. and. You know when you're doing an exercise and you're like, yes, my form feels so good. I don't feel like I'm straining any other muscle that I shouldn't be. I'm feeling the connection. That's exactly how this exercise felt. And I know it was because I didn't have to focus on my grip. I didn't have to focus on just keeping the bar steady because the Smith machine did that for me. So it felt so comfortable and it just felt so good. So right. So definitely try this out if you have it at your gym or if it's available. Give this a go and add it to your routine. Okay, I know I can't be the only one that as soon as you're done with your big lifts, your compound lifts, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, usually that is me. I'm not going to lie and say that I always finish out with some isolation exercises, but we are doing that here. So I'm just doing the lying hamstring curl machine, and this is going to specifically isolate and target the hamstrings. And that was it for Monday's workout. Okay guys, so this is actually my second workout of the week and we are going to go on a run. So I have on some cute little running shorts that I got from Target and I'm going to go for an hour run. So I'm not going to put a mile on it. I don't care what pace I do. I just want to go and try to run for an hour straight. So that is the only goal today. I will definitely let you guys know how I feel and be checking in along the way. Just have my little energy drink here and hopefully that's going to give me enough energy that I need. And I also ate a banana, but yeah, I'm going to... Right now, it's it's actually chilly outside, but I think it's gonna be nice because it's gonna hopefully keep me a little more cool. Okay, I am eight minutes in and I have to run back around by my mom's house because I forgot my chapstick. I feel like that's like number one tip if you're running in the cold, make sure you have chapstick. Tylen just went by and I seen him, so I was like, I'm gonna need you to run out some chapstick to me. Okay, doing the talk test because I wanna be able to have a conversation while I'm running because that lets me know that this is a good pace for me. So right now, I feel good. I'm probably running at like a 12 minute pace per mile, but that's okay. Okay, I've officially been running for 30 minutes and actually feel really good. So I have been having a little bit of problem with my left knee and I, I feel a little bit, but not enough to where I feel like I need to stop. We're halfway through.
y'all that is the furthest i've ever ran in my life i can take a picture of this y'all i was so proud of this i did not care about how slow my pace was i think the reason why i've grown to love running or to like it at least is because it definitely pushes you past what you feel you're mentally capable of like it's more of a mental game than anything so i was definitely feeling accomplished and proud welcome to our only upper body day of the week now listen, I am not one of those girls that enjoy upper body. I do not enjoy upper body at all, okay? I keep it light, I keep it simple, but I still do it because I understand the importance of it. So we're doing barbell back rows. Sorry if you can hear these birds outside the house because they are very disrespectful right now. I really enjoy this exercise, but the form is still not exactly where I feel it needs to be, but practice makes perfect, so I'll keep practicing. Next we have seated cable rows. Now this might be my favorite upper body exercise at all. Like I just love cable rows. I also love lat pull downs, but I like to think about or visualize in my head about something being in between my lats and I need to squeeze and pinch that. And then when I'm coming forward, I just like to make sure I'm getting the full stretch so that way I get the full movement. And yeah, that's all the tips I have for this. This one is just really fun to do, I feel like. Okay, moving on to an exercise I do not like and is not fun, and that is standing barbell curls. Now, I, again, I like to keep it light. I'm not trying to build any more muscle on my upper body, so if stuff feels too heavy, for instance, like right here, I will lighten that baby up and do more reps any day. I am not, like I said, looking to build, and my upper body tends to build really fast, so like I said, I always keep it very light on my upper body days with higher reps. Okay, last exercise we're doing is pull-ups. Now I know a lot of people are like, man, I can't even do one pull-up. I used to be there, I used to be there, and then I got good at pull-ups, had a baby, and then I couldn't do one again. And that's when I realized that your core plays a huge role in your ability to do a pull-up. So don't just focus on doing pull-ups. You could do them and practice them with a band, but also try to focus on your core and see how much you can strengthen that. And I think that will help you out. Okay, welcome to our second leg day of the week. We are doing quads and glutes this day, and I like to start off in the Stairmaster, get a little warm up, and then we are moving straight into our first exercise, which are Smith Machine squats. Now, I've put my feet a little bit more in front of me than I usually would, so that way I can focus on getting the depth that I need and really target those quads. I actually recorded an entire gym vlog of this day, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled because that will be my next video, and I'll go more into depth on each exercise there. Okay, this next exercise you should be pretty familiar with because we did the same superset on Monday, and that was the cast hip thrust with the single leg hip thrust right after. So I just wanna make sure that I'm being very clear. If you're gonna be doing heavy lifts like this and you're training the same muscle groups or doing the same exercises, make sure you give yourself enough time in between. So I did this exercise or this superset on Monday, and now I'm not doing it again all the way until Friday. Make sure you give your body rest because that is when you're going to see the gains. That is when your muscles are going to have time to recover and grow. So give them the rest. Next, we have reverse lunges. Now, if it's not already obvious, it's clear that I like to do some of the same staple exercises when it comes to my legs because for me, I always did all these different exercises when I first started my fitness journey and I just felt like I was not seeing the growth that I wanted to see. And it wasn't until I kind of reeled back and focused on three to maybe four compound lifts that I just wanted to get better in, better form, you know, lift heavier in. That's when I felt like I started to see more progress. So if you were like that, it's nothing wrong with switching up your exercises. But if you want to see growth, I would suggest to reel it back and focus on form and like time under tension and things like that next we have leg press and the only tip i'm going to give you because i feel like it's the most important and i need you guys to just remember this one tip it's to not lock out your knees at the top make sure you're keeping your knees slightly bent because you just don't you want to prevent knee injuries i'm having problems with my knees because i think all of the training that i've done but also all of the mistakes that i had to learn the hard way so so be better than me and learn the easy way by just reminding yourself 
yourself every time you're doing leg press to not lock out that knee, okay? Whether you're doing more of a hamstring wider stance or you're doing a narrow stance targeting your quads, doesn't matter, keep that knee slightly bent. Lastly, we have leg extensions. Now, I'm going to mention this. I mentioned this in my vlog as well about how I was struggling with this machine particularly because all leg extensions are different. All machines are different. Every gym is different. And sometimes you have to sit there and look like a beginner and figure out how do I get this to make sense for me and sometimes they're just not even accommodating for like short people or smaller people but i figured this one out and when i did it felt really good and i like to finish out my leg days with some type of isolation exercise so this was nice for that <music> Okay, y'all, this is my last workout of the week. <sighs> Trying to finish this run out, but I'm so tired. I gotta bring my heart rate down. I need to walk. Okay, I'm gonna walk, let my heart rate cool. So right now I'm running by a college and I'm walking to get my heart rate to come down because it's like 180. I've been going ham this week. Y'all, I'm not feeling good. My legs are beef from yesterday's leg day. So this run feels horrible, but I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna try to get two miles. My legs are noodles. <sighs> Only have 0.3 to go though. Y'all, this is all I could do. My legs hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> 